Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Dara Jordan and I'm a YouTuber from Galway, Ireland. Uh, so if you're new, uh, so today we're talking about my Grail experience and my top top five things you're going to see when you're in the Grail So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with my five top things you're gonna see in the Grail Tuck and then at the end I'm gonna talk about my Grail Tuck experience. If you haven't seen it already, I did make a video. I was at Colossal Lurgan last year and this year and I made a video about it this year. So if you wanna go check it out, you can click here. Lurgan Galvi is off today, Jason. So the first thing you're gonna expect is you're gonna to have to speak Irish. Oh, I never realized I speak Irish at the Grail Tuck. I know this sounds silly, but I think a lot of people get overwhelmed by this when they go for the first time. I know I did, because when I went, I had a bit of a distaste for Irish, but it was misplaced distaste because I didn't, I don't like the subject. I didn't like the language. I didn't realize you could have the crack through Irish, have fun through Irish. In the classroom, I was always writing out, learning grammar and poetry and stuff. And I kind of put a lot of people off Irish and I can actually understand why people have a misplaced distaste for it because it's not that they don't like the language, it's that they don't like the subject. When I went out for the first time last year, I I was in Tilanara with the lads and uh, I had a great time. And this year was the same with Ch uh, Tio Porta and the lads were brilliant as well. I was a Kinnera this year and the first year I went out was only a Scullera. And you realize very quickly that even though you don't think you have a lot of Irish, it comes very quickly. You pick up words really quickly. Um, because even if someone says something, you don't understand all the words. Usually if you hear it enough, you'll actually pick up on what they're saying. And if you don't understand it, you can ask someone and they're not gonna eat your head over it because you're there to learn, you're there to grow. And it is honestly a great experience. And it's one of the best things I ever tried to do was going to the grill. Number two, you become quite close to the people in there. Now, you wonder why they come so close, you only spent three weeks with them, but you were thinking of three weeks of in school. So over the full school year, you spend 1,076 hours roughly in school with people, right? In the Grail Tuck, if you're living with people, so, you, so in most houses, between 8 to 14 people usually, and if you are living with someone, you end up spending roughly, over the three weeks, you end up spending 376 hours with them. That's 35% of a full school year. And if you're only in the colossal people, so you're not living in the same house, it's about 180 hours. So the fact that you're condensed and you're spending so much time with people, you end up getting very close. You're away from home, you're out of your comfort zone, and you do realize as you come very close. Both years, I made friends that I, that over those three weeks that I still talk to this day, and I still I plan on meeting up with over actually over the next few weeks. I'll end up meeting up with a lot of them. What I did was I went by myself the first year. I wanted to just go meet new people and just get out of my comfort zone. And it really worked because it forced me to speak Irish and to force me to meet new people because I had no comfort zone of going with a friend. A lot of people go with friends and they find it a great time, but I just made the own decision myself the first year to not know anyone and just go by myself. Then the second year I went, I knew a good few people, as in people from last year's course. I do a kinder course, I met a few people there. And then of course, then during the course, I met new, uh, loads of more new people. I have to admit, it is one of the best parts I find of Lurgan is getting to meet new people because the people you meet are amazing and they're from all different backgrounds and they do all different types of things and it is really interesting getting to know them and honestly that is my favorite one it's probably my favorite part of Lurgan is meeting the new people and making new friends and then there's the food so you can either get really really lucky with your food or you can be very unlucky uh, my first year my volunteer was fantastic. Her food was always amazing. You could never uh, falter on it. And the little lunch clock was nice enough as well. It was grand. Like the, you get a different variety, so you'd have a different food each day. So there's either, at Lurgan, you either get pasta, deli, which is like chicken nuggets, wedges, and, and salad and stuff, or paninis. And I enjoyed the food. I know some people didn't like it, but I had no issue with it. The second year, the food, the food was all right. It was grand, you know. 
at the end of the day, you're living in someone's house and they're cooking dinner for you, so obviously they always do their best effort. And sometimes you're not gonna like the food, but it was always edible, so I always ate my dinner. I know some people weren't too happy with it, but I was always all right with it. Now I know for vegetarians and vegans and stuff, it can be a little more tricky because I heard of some people literally getting kind of salad and vegetables every night, which is not enough nutrients or calories just to function, so they have to try and find other ways of eating food and which is usually through junk food. Obviously that's maybe a little, that's something to be aware of if you are going out, if you are a vegan or vegetarian, you need to be aware of, you might find it a little bit harder to try and get enough food in the day. Most of the time it's fine. Obviously they're there to make sure that you're okay because they are your guardians while you're there. So they're gonna try and make sure that you're getting enough food into you throughout the day. So another thing you're gonna notice when after real is it is can be a little bit monotonous. You get up every morning, you get dressed, you have your breakfast, you go into the cloister, you do your couple of classes, you do your activities, uh, at Lurgan at least, then you go down to the beach every day as long as weather permitting. Uh, you have lunch, you come home, you go back to your, your chocolate Osteen, you have your dinner, you relax for a bit, you come back over, and then you do your Kaylee. Now every Friday, at least in Lurgan, you have your disco as well, and then some different events, you might have other activities like filming videos and stuff, I know every building doesn't do that. But it can be a little bit monotonous, you're doing the same thing day in, day out. But again, I wouldn't change it, as in, in the moment you can get a bit frustrated because you can go, you're doing the same thing over and over again. But looking back, they're just great memories. And you need to just keep, keep that perspective that, you know, you're out there having fun and you're not gonna get many chances to go to the wheel search, as in, I've gone twice and I'm gonna be working there next year and that's probably me gonna be done. I probably won't get another chance to go back out. So I think make the most while you're out there um, and just enjoy yourself. Then you move on washing and clothes. So in most grail tubs you get the, you hand all your clothes in, you can give them bags, but everyone puts their clothes in and you pay a couple of euro for each wash and you get your clothes back a couple of days later. Now, I personally never use them because I live in Galway, so I don't even have to go that far to wheel So every Sunday I always just bring some dirty clothes home and bring some fresh clothes out with me. I know people that don't go home for the three weeks, but they bring enough clothes to survive for the three weeks. So they bring like a t-shirt or two for every day. I've heard of people's clothes go missing and stuff in the wash while they're at the wheel hook, so I kind of personally don't like to put it in. But again, if you really need to get your clothes washed, it's not a bad option. And they come back, you know, clean, folded, everything. I personally never used it, but again, if you've heard of the grail tuck, you know. So guys, those are my top five things you need to expect when you go to the grail tuck. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit of my experience. So like I've said at the beginning of the video, I've been twice. I went last year as a Scullera, this year I was a Kinnera, and next year I'll be working as a Kunzor. So basically that means as a Scullera is just a student, you go there, you do your class, whatever, you're paying to be there. A Kinnera, in Lurgan at least, is another step up from that. So basically, you don't pay as much, and you also get certain, you're like, can be responsible for a house. Then if you're a Kunzor, you're being paid to be there. And you also have to do other jobs like cleaning up and stuff. And like I said, before I went to Lurgan, I hated art, and I'm not even gonna lie, because my experience had always been that you go in, you learn grammar, you learn new words, and that was it, you never used it. I didn't do much spoken art at all up until when I went to Lurgan. Since going, I really have fell in love with it. I've really found a passion for it that I hadn't found if I hadn't gone. I found that I really love it, and I really enjoy speaking to it with people, because this is our national language, and I feel like a lot of people have a distaste for it, uh, but like I said before, it's because I feel like it's ways being taught. I think it should be just spoken. I shouldn't, like, you shouldn't have to learn about poetry and poetic techniques before you can even speak the language, in my opinion. My experience has been brilliant, as in every year my house has been brilliant. The first year, all the lads are brilliant in two hours. I'll stick in a photo now of us. Um, I really, like, as in we all gelled really well and we really got on well as a house. And the same thing the second year, the lads are brilliant. I was a kinder, so I was looking after them. And I can honestly say they were a great bunch of lads. and. I'll put them in the picture now with these. And both years they were brilliant. And I had a great crack. Fortunately, I've been lucky to have two great houses. All the people you meet along the way, like all different backgrounds, like they all are so fun. And the fact that like a good few people in Lurgan have are really good at singing and stuff, are very music very like ta musically talented. You don't need to be that when you're going to Lurgan because I I play the guitar, but I wouldn't Ever. Uh, you don't have to be, you can still go out there and have great fun, learn some Irish and just have a good time. So I'd advise if you're on the fence about going to the Wales, look, go. You'll honestly, I, you won't regret it. Take it from me. Like, if you, I'd say after this, go watch my Lurgan video if you haven't already. 
it just shows some of the great bits we did out there and it was honestly a great time and yeah if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you're in leaving search i have or in fifth year i'm doing leaving search series at the moment breaking down each subject if you want to go check that out uh go check click my channel and it'll be in there it's called road to 520 points and yeah we will see you on thursday can i relive